crude and crude prices for the first time since 14th of Feb 2012 they have declined. So what is the real level for crude? Thoughts on that uh, from Victor Shroom, Vice President with Bowen and Guts. Victor, morning. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Victor, uh, the good news uh, from, from India's perspective is that crude prices have reversed and crude prices have reversed by about 2% plus. Well, uh, crude prices remain uh, uh, very uh, uh, strong, even though uh, this morning uh, crude prices uh, have uh, pulled back some, primarily due to some profit-taking uh, uh, activities. You know, I see that uh, uh, there will be uh, more upside risk than uh, downside risk uh, in uh, uh, oil markets, uh, primarily because of uh, geopolitical supply side uh, concerns. And I'm not just talking about uh, uh, Iran, even though it's uh, uh, front and center news, but uh, there are also uh, uh, disruptions uh, of uh, oil supply from uh, uh, Syria, uh, South uh, 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 Sudan, and uh, potentially longer term uh, uh, from uh, uh, Iraq due to instability in uh, uh, Iraq after the U.S. Uh, uh, troops had put out uh, late uh, uh, last year. And, uh, and so uh, uh, prices uh, uh, will likely remain uh, uh, elevated in the uh, uh, near term, and prices will remain uh, uh, volatile. Uh, the European debt issue remains the uh, factor that's going to uh, 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 stop any... Uh, uh, substantial uh, uh, gains in uh, uh, oil pricing, and uh, there are increasing worries that uh, high oil prices will also uh, crimp economic uh, uh, growth. So those concerns about uh, uh, the economic health of uh, the uh, 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 world will uh, 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 sort of put a, uh, a lid on uh, substantial price uh, rallies. But uh, prices are likely to mm. remain uh, uh, elevated in the in the near term. Right, Victor, you just talked about geopolitical risks. How serious is the risk of a military strike in the region? And if that were to happen, how much can crude flare up, considering you're in any case talking about uh, flaring up of the current levels as well as volatility? Well, you know, uh, uh, the, uh, the likelihood of... Uh, uh, an uh, Israeli airstrike on uh, Iran, you know, seemed to have uh, uh, raised a bit uh, uh, in the uh, uh, you know past uh, uh, a week or so. And uh, at this point, uh, I yes. see it as uh, 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 having a, a very uh, uh, a low low chance. And uh, it's really the uh, uh, fear of any such. Uh, 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 attack uh, that is uh, driving investors to bet prices will rise in the future. I think it's something uh, like uh, an uh, Israeli airstrike uh, uh, happens, and uh, and if uh, also Iran uh, uh, blocks uh, uh, a tankage, uh, a tanker flow uh, through the Strait of Hormuz, uh, we will see uh, pricing, you know, go above. Uh, 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 150, 150 to 200. And uh, that level of pricing, however, uh, will unlikely be uh, sustained for a long time. It will be just a, uh, in my view, just a temporary uh, search to uh, uh, that kind of uh, uh, level due to this uh, kind of unplanned uh, uh, event. So, Victor, finally, how should investors in India hedge their crude oil risk? Should they go long on crude or stocks of oil exporters? Well, I, uh, my, in my view, that uh, uh, as I pointed out earlier, uh, there are uh, more upside uh, uh, risks to uh, uh, oil futures, and uh, uh, many investors are, are betting that uh, uh, prices will uh, uh, are likely uh, uh, go higher, and uh, it's all driven by uh, uh, supply side uh, concerns. And I think for the rest of this. Uh, uh, year oil supply woes uh, will be the uh, uh, a key uh, uh, a theme, and I say that uh, more investors are, are going long on uh, crude now.